So yeah, so obviously been a Wickham fan. Do you have any memories then with um with Wickham? Watch first memory watching them. Memories. My first memory is I think last year. Well, the best memory is where well, I really believe the week ago is I remember I watched that uh, with Ryan Wilson, the goalkeeper. But then I mean, got into the final. I said to my mate, if we can win this game, we, we can win this. We, we can go. We can. We can go. We can go places. And when I saw we got playoff football. And we beat Fleetwood and we got to the final against Oxford. I oh, this is surreal. Like, with the Wanderers and this, we're in a black final. Yeah, of course, going as well, you know, to the to the cha- like the championship as well for the first time in the club's history. It's quite crazy, really, to be honest. And obviously, you've had the manager for a long time, Gareth Ainsworth, now since two thousand and twelve. You know, it's good. You've done well to stick by him, really. Not many managers last that long these days. So, full credit to the club how they've stuck by him through everything. Yeah. Yeah, Gareth Ainsworth. Yeah, Gareth Ainsworth. Gareth Ainsworth. Yeah, he's a Wickham legend. Do you know what? I remember that day in hockey where he kept us up in the football league. And, you know, like you said, many clubs would have put him and we'd stuck by him and stuck by him and stuck by him and we'd put all the sources and Pete Cohen and Rob Cohen come in. And it, he didn't mean to have the clear out. He got the money from obviously the moment come in. And we've got strength to strength to strength for the second tier football now. But we can wander as absolutely surreal. Yeah, absolutely. And like you say, sometimes it just proves sticking with managers can do really good. So, obviously, with that with that as well, you, at the start of this season, it didn't start so well. Seven consecutive defeats. But, I mean, the club have responded, though, and they're doing okay now. I know you're still the bottom butters, and, you know, you are still, you're certainly putting up a lot more fight than you were at the beginning of the season. Yeah, of course. It, it was always going to be tough going into championships. Seven, seven consecutive defeats. It wasn't easy for the club, it wasn't easy for the manager, but I thought the team had responded brilliantly. I think my determination, courage in that team, I think that's enough to keep us up. And in that team, that fight, that courage, that is worth it just on its own. That's why I believe we can stay in this division and get into the country. Yeah, um, if we want to touch on the memory of beating Fleetwood last year in the um, in the playoffs, what what was that like to beat Fleetwood? How how much of a big moment for the club was that as well in the semi final? To beat Fleetwood, honestly, I went into the playoffs saying let's give it a good go, let's see what happens. Joey Barton, he Fleetwood, puppy years, he got them no drilled, and do you know what? When we won nil up in the first leg, I thought, all right, let's just calm down. I mean, it's going to put one lead back to Adam's pub. And I thought, all right, but if we can just keep it tight through the first half of the second leg, which we didn't, we went in one nil down, but the team responded brilliantly. And that is the thing with Wickham. You always know you're going to get excitement, goals, drama. Um, yeah, it's, you know, luckily we beat Fleetwood and the rest is history. Yeah, obviously the one you got, you can't not mention the final Oxford United in the final. I mean, what a what a memory that must be, one that will live long in Wickham Wanderers fans' history. Oh, that will never be forgotten. That will never be forgotten. Simple as that. I remember sixth minute, Joe Jacobson whipping that corner and Anthony Stewart getting his header on the end of it. Um, yeah. And, and, that, like I said, it was real. It was the longest ten minutes of my life to hang on, and obviously now we're in the championships. So. Yeah, absolutely brilliant. Really, the way it, um, the way it all came about and stuff like that. Obviously, I don't don't need to ask your favourite ever manager because that's obvious. It's going to be Gareth Ainsworth. But what about favourite ever player for Wickham? to me Mr Wickham himself I think Matt Bloom as a leader as a teammate as a player I think but most of all like I said the leader he is someone you look up to he is someone as a young player you look for for advice and I think people like when you have leaders like um, Darius Charles Matt Bloomfield Adam Joe Jacobson it makes the game incredibly easy 
Yeah, certainly. And yeah, obviously, you know, like I was going to say as well, mention the whole um, 2011 promotion where beat when you beat Southend 3-1. Does that game sound familiar? Oh, absolutely, yeah. I remember we beat Southend and then I think a couple of years later, in 2017, in 2017, I think we beat Chesterfield. Yeah, that was it, yeah. Chesterfield was a 2-1 win. Season. Yeah, exactly. We went away to Chesterfield. I remember our last minute, Dominic Gary. So there's been a lot of memories that Gareth Ainsworth, he can be very, very proud when he finds And one recent memory, we've got Tottenham in the FA Cup coming up in the fourth round. That doesn't happen every day, week. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's always that's always a great thing as well. Like I said, the story of Wickham has certainly been eventful in the last few years, and it must be great to be a part of it. And if you do stay in the championship this season, which you never know could happen, it'll be. I imagine that's the first step really for the club as well in the championship because it's a tough league to go into, and you know it's your first ever time, and it's not going to be easy. But so far, after the start you had, you've coped quite well. And like I said, it was always going to be difficult, but. You've always got to believe in Ainsworth after what he's done for the club, I guess. Definitely, 100%. I've been seeing things over the last few weeks, questioning Gareth Ainsworth. Um, I just don't understand how you can do this club, how he's done it, and what the budget he's had. Like the budget he's had, he has not had a lot of money, any money, to do it at all. And to go from League Two to keeping this League Two for the Championship, like I said, playing Tottenham in the FA Cup in the last four years is absolutely surreal. Like, yeah. yeah, brilliant. I mean, you know, it must be great to be a Wickham fan at the moment. Have you got a favourite Championship game so far? Favourite Championship game has to be Sheffield Wednesday, our first win. David Wheeler from the corner. Um, I think, obviously, I know we lost this game. But um, I know we lost this game, but I think Bridge as well. But, um, I think we lost in the last minute. But to give an ex Premier League team like that a proper game, and I know we didn't come out on the right side, but to give a proper game, it shows we can we belong in this team. Yeah, certainly. Well, yeah, I think that's pretty much all the questions I've got to ask you anyway. But yeah, you've certainly had a ride, been a Wickham fan, so. Um, Fair play to you for um, you know, and hopefully you'll be back in the stadium soon. I take it you are a regular season ticket holder. Oh, don't. Yeah, when it's don't, uh, where, honestly, but... I'm on way. Yeah, well, hopefully you will be back in the stadium soon. Yeah, hopefully. 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 Yeah, hopefully.